Hey, it's Andy. Staring at a blank Notion page like this can be pretty intimidating, especially if you don't know where to get started. That's why today I'm going to show you how to create a simple Notion address book in under 15 minutes so that you can easily stay in touch with your friends, family and other contacts. I'm going to chuck 15 minutes up onto the screen here and let's get into it. So I'm currently here on a blank page in Notion and let's start the clock. Great, so the first thing I'm gonna do is very simply give my page a title and an icon. So let's just go and call this address book and we can go here to the add icon, click on that one and let's just search for address um, or let's go for book. Great, and let's just go and give it a, a book like that. And the main thing this is all going to be based on is a database. So I'm just going to go put a little title here, so three hashes, and this is going to be our database. And we're going to keep this out of the way later. So the first thing we want to do is just go and press forward slash and then inline, because we want this to be on the same page as everything else. So new database, inline, press return, and it's created a little um, framework here for a database. Now, another thing that I do almost always is make my pages full width. So if I go up to here to the three dots, click on full width, there we go. And I'm just going to go and call this a database uh, address book. And that's what we'll reference throughout our workspace. The first one, the first column that we've got is name. So that's absolutely fine. So um, we could leave it as it is, but I'm going to go and change this to um, contact name instead, like that, just so it's a bit clearer. Uh, tags, we don't need that. So I'm just going to right click and then just go and click delete. And then we want to go and start adding some more properties. And the first one is very simply, what's the address of this person? So the type of field we want is a text field, just type text. And then we need to give this a name. So if I just go and double click here, and then we can go and rename this to address and then return. That's great. Then the next thing that we want is to have a email address and phone number. So let's just go in here, type phone um, and then go and type phone. Um, that's let's change that to mobile just to make it more obvious and then just go and press return and then we also want to go here press the plus uh, type email we can add their email address great so we've got a few basic bits of information here the next thing we want to know is what the person how the person's connected to us so we'll use a select property for that so again click on the plus and let's type select and we want here to have normal select, not the multi one. So I'm just going to click here um, and I'm going to call this column category. So category. Oh, can't spell category. Great. And we can add a few options. So let's say that we've got friends. We could also say family. And then we could also say, say, contractor. So how do we know these various people? Uh, you can also go and re rearrange these just by dragging like this. And we could also go and color them. So let's just say that we want friends so to be a little bit brighter. So we can make that yellow. Family, let's go and make that blue. And then we've got contractors here and that's already selected as red, for example, but you can use whatever colors you want. So those are our three example categories. The next one that I'm going to add is um, the status of these um, various contacts. So are they new? So are they people that we've just met? Um, are they people that we definitely want to be speaking to? Um, or maybe they're people that we've sort of um, fallen out of um, connection with? Um, or maybe we no longer want to use the contractors, so we'll go and archive them. So if you click the plus and we want to select here status, there we go, and just go and click on that one. Uh, and then we want to go, we've got three different options. So we've got not started, in progress and done. And these aren't very um, relevant. So let's go and rename these. So I'm going to go and make the not started. Instead, I'm going to call this new. So this is a new contact. And I'm going to go and color this yellow. Then let's go and have our in progress. So rather in progress, that doesn't sound quite, quite right. So let's call this current. So these are current contacts. Uh, and let's leave that as blue. And then this one is rather than done, um, we'll refer to these as archived. So people that we no longer speak to, we can go and call that, for example, pink. Great, so I've gone and done all those, uh, click off, and we've now got our status. And if you uh, click and drag these, we can then go and reorder them as well. So we've got to made this now uh, status. And with that status um, property, you always have a default. So it's defaulting to new, um, whereas for category, it can also be blank. Great, so there are a few different ones. Next up, we want to add some dates, and this is to do with when we last spoke to somebody and when we want to next speak to them. So let's click the plus icon again, and let's just type in date, and let's select date here. Uh, and this is actually gonna be the um, last contacted. So when did we last speak to this person? Um, we want to leave it as full date, um, time we're not bothered by. Um, so that's the last contacted, and just press return. 
And then finally, we also want to have the next contact. So again, type date, we'll select the date property. And then we want to go and say that this is uh, next contact. Ooh. So this is the next time that we want to go and contact them and press return. So there you can see we've got some very basic columns. So let's just put a few names in. So maybe we've got Joe Blogs. Uh, let's say that he's new. Uh, we won't bother with those details because that won't affect too much. We can say that he's friends. Uh, last contacted was today. Let's say we've just got off the phone with him and we want to speak to him in, let's say, um, a month's time. So let's put the 25th of May. There we go. And I'll just put one more example in. So let's say this is uh, Sam Smith. Let's say that this is a current one. So let's put that to current. And then let's say this is family. Uh, last spoken to a couple of months ago. So let's put that in the past. Uh, and let's also say that the next contact was also supposed to be say last week. And actually we're a bit behind on our catching up. So we'll put that one as uh, April the 18th. So last week. And then we just got a blank one here. And I'm gonna go and delete that. Great, so that's a very simple um, uh, database. You can also go and change the icons, etc. Um, and let's just quickly go and rename this view, and this is going to be all. So we want to view all of our contacts. Great, so the next thing we want to do is to be able to go and track who um, we're reaching out to. So I'm going to just go and create a little header here, and this is reach out. And rather than using the actual database, which was sort of hiding down the bottom, I'm going to use what's called a linked view. So if you press the forward slash and just type linked, you can see we've got here a linked view of database. So I'm going to click on that one. And then here we want to go and select address book. So I click here and you can see that it's uh, initially brought up the view that we've already created, which is all. But I want to create a new view. So here I'm going to click uh, new table view. And we actually want to go and use this one as a calendar. So we want to see who do we want to follow up with on a calendar view. So type calendar. Great. And you can see it's brought up Joe Blogs, but we want to be a bit careful because we've got two date properties. So here you can see that we've got, um, do we want to show weekends? We want a month or a week view. So I could change this to week and you'll see it's just got the days of the week. Uh, or let's put it back to a month. Great. Uh, how do we want to view the properties, etc.? And I'm going to click done. Now in layout, we do want to say how are we actually, which calendar are we showing? So this is showing last contacted. So it's showing when did we last speak to these people, but that's not right. We want to see when are we next uh, contacting them. So here, if you click, you can see we've actually got the option for next contacts. So we've got our two different calendars. So just make sure that you select the right one. So we want the next contact. Great, so go back. In properties, we can also select what appears in these cards in the calendar. So I'm going to go and select here. We want to know what category are they? So are they family, family or friends? And maybe we just want their mobile number uh, just to go and give them a, a ring. And if I quickly put in a mobile number here, so let's just go and chuck in a uh, uh, fake number. There we go. And then when I go back to the calendar, you can see that we've straight away got what's their name? When do we want to contact them? How are they connected to us? And then what's their phone number, which is really, really cool. Great, so that's reaching out. Let's also say we want to, um, maybe we're behind on some people. So here, I'm gonna click the little plus. So this is gonna add another view within the same area of our page. So I'm gonna click here, we want new. Uh, we want to again use the address book, but this time we again want a new view, but I want to go and have this as a table rather than a calendar. So just click on table. Uh, we can also go and say whether we want to have the uh, various uh, lines. So there are lots of options in here, just go and have a play with them. And then we want to go and show only certain properties. So I'm not that bothered about their email address, for example. You can take that out or their actual physical address. Um, we just want to go and have their calendars um, uh, of when we last contact them and then when we next need to contact them. Great. So if I can now go back, now we need to filter because we don't want everybody. We just want people where we're behind. So if I go here, the next contact, so the next contact we've got is this week because we want it to be today or previous. So if we go, uh, the start date is on or before. So we want the follow up date to be on or before. And then here you can either select a hard coded date, but we don't want that. We want to select today. So the next contact date was supposed to be on or before today. There we go. And we can see that we've got this one where we're out of, we're um, behind the 18th of April from last week. So that's now in a list. So we can quickly see, oh, who do we need to quickly go and follow up with out of our contacts? Great, so that's who we need to reach out to. Next up, we also want to go and have just some contact cards, which is a really cool way of using gallery view. So again, if we press forward slash and then linked view, there we go. 
and then let's select our address book and this time we want a new view we want it to be a gallery so select here now here the card preview at the top we don't want any we don't want any pictures um, so let's go and select a uh, card preview and select that as none then we want to go and select done and what properties do we want to see so let's say we want to know what's their category what's their email address and what's their mobile number Great, and you get a really nice picture here of their, of their various cards. And of course we could go and use the uh, search and uh, the filter views here. So we could say we only want to see where the category is, for example, um, um, family. So I'll just go and tick family. There you go. And it's only showing us the one that we want. And here we can go and rename this view. Uh, and this is a family contact card like that. And then we could also just go and put in, change the picture for this view. So let's just put person. There we go, uh, let's go and put person like that. So family contact cards, um, and you could go and duplicate this. So quickly, if I just right click, we can go and duplicate that view. And then this could be our friends. So rather than family, let's put here friends. Ooh, can't spell again. Friends contact card, and then just go and change your filter from family uh, to friends. And then let's deselect, there we go. And we've just got our friend there, Joe Blogs. So that's how you can view various contact cards. Um, we may also want to go and add somebody in really, really quickly. And this may be in a different area of your workspace and you can do that using a button. So if I press forward slash and then button and then return here, let's just go and give this a name. So let's say a uh, new contact. And again, we can go and give this a quick icon and let's just go person and let's select a different one. So let's go this one, there you go, new contact. Now, the first thing we may want to do is um, go and double check that we actually do want to add a new contact. So if I go here, add action, the first thing I want to do is go show confirmation. So are you sure you want to continue? So just in case we accidentally press it, we can double check. And this is up to you whether you want to use this. So let's just say, yes, we want to double check. Then we want to go and add a page to the database. So let's say that we want to add a page to the uh, address book uh, database that we've just created. The contact name will leave us blank. Um, do we want to add any other properties? So let's also leave that blank at the moment. Cool, but we are gonna want to add some more information. So we'll add a third step and that step is gonna be open the page. And what's really cool is that you can here select which page you want to open. You actually want to open the page that you've literally just created. So let's go the new page added. So it's asking us to confirm. It's going and added the new page and then it's opening that same page. And there's loads of different things on buttons. Um, do let me know if you've got any questions about that. But if I just go and click here done, there we go. And we can see that we've got our new contact button here at the top. So now if I go and click it, the first thing is it says, are you sure you want to continue? So yes, I am. Then it's uh, we press continue, it opens the page. We can add our test contact in here. We can add all the various information. So let's just go and say that we con uh, connected with them today, the 25th. Great, click off, and we've now got our new contact. So that's just a few ways that you can go and create uh, an address book. The last way very quickly to show you is about management. So say we want to go and check what stage our various contacts are at. So if I again type linked view, uh, we again want to use the same database, so address book. This time we want to go and use a board view. And this is sort of a, a little bit like a Kanban board where things are in various sections. So here, if I go and say, you've got group here by, so we can group by either the um, status, which we've got, or also we could group by dates or other things. So let's group by status. And we want to look at all of the groups. So I'm just going to go and select the eye here so that we can see all three. Uh, you could also, as usual, go and filter them. So you could, for example, only filter family or friends um, as usual. And you can also go and sort. But you can then very easily see that we've got, right, which of our um, contacts are new. So there's the one that we've just created. Maybe you've now gone and had a chat with him. So you're going to go and move that one. And they're now current. And then perhaps uh, Sam, um, yeah, he's moved away. You don't really speak to Sam anymore. Um, so we don't want him cluttering up our address book so then we can go and just grab him and move him into archived again just to make sure that things are kept all tidy this could be um contact status right and then if we wanted we could also go and add in another title as well um so here we could call this uh, contact status and let's put a little three lines underneath so there are just a few examples of how you can go and create an address book. Um, 45 seconds to go. If you've got any questions about this, then do go and drop them down into the comments below. Please do hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm so that other people can go and find this video. But otherwise, 
Thanks so much for joining me. 30 seconds to go. And um, yeah, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks everyone.